Hello and welcome back to Wallace and Gromit. Um, so... Let's see... We got the bees away from this area. What's this? I'm thinking those aren't real bee... bee blowers. So something we no I noticed last time was that, um... The Batcher is in the police cell for some reason. I'm not I'm not really sure what's going on with that. The wall of the roses. The walls of the roses. <laughs> There's still a bee on that. Oh jeez. No honey there. So we gotta somehow trap those um, those bees in that uh, shop window. So actually, what I'm doing right now is I'm just looking for items, hoping that we'll run into some something that will make them stay over there long enough for me to to close the blind on them. Um, nope, still still okay. Sorry, Robin. Oh, they're asleep. Okay, let's just s let them stay there then. So I wonder... How do we get her down? Let's see... Well, did you relay my message? Did you give your master the note? Oh, you bad dog. Do as Miss Flit tells you and I'll give you a treat. This is because I didn't give him the flowers he wanted, isn't it? Yeah, let that guy stay down there. Who will say? Now. So while this is inside the kitchen, we should close those though, so they don't fly out. Reporting back, Gromit. All quiet again on the domestic front, thankfully. What's that, Constable? Certainly. I'll tell him. Constable Dibbins reckons you should help him deal with the emergency in town. Yeah. Later, Gromit. I'm on the phone. Oh jeez. Okay. Yes, Mr. Pinier said. Yes, I know. I know. It's later, Gromit. I'm on the phone. I know, Constable Dibbins. Yes, Mr. Pinier said. Yes, I know. I know. It's terrible. Let's see what happens if I. I don't know that I'd say that. Well, well, after all, it was an innocent mistake. The ingredients. Well, well, when you when you put it that way, Constable Dibbins. Yes, sir. Uh, well, I'll, I'll certainly try to. Okay. Gromit's working on that. Mm -hmm. oh. oh dear. No, I wasn't aware. Let's try going to town and showing. Let's go go try going to town and showing the police officer the SOS. Or not, I suppose. We 
You gotta somehow make this close. Yeah, we gotta somehow make that close while we... It's right there, the Batcher. Why is there a Batcher there? Would you? Yeah, I just kind of think. Take this and they float fly over there. You don't get a chance to do anything while they are over there. That annoys me. Maybe I can shoot down the lady. It's not gonna work. Frying pan, lad. The timer mechanism is very delicate. It's liable to spring at odd moments. Oh, <laughs> I love when you get those little moments in games like these. We're like, oh, wait a minute. So let me take the map. Let's see. Ah. 
Sorry for the delay, Mr. Paneer. I think you'll find the streets are now B3. Thank heavens for the boys in blue. Now, the boys in I'll blue? I'll ask you to accompany me to the station. There's some paperwork we need to fill out. Nothing too bothersome. Happy to do my part. It's citizens like you what make my job a pleasure, Mr. Paneer. Okay, well, now we can get Wallace to help her down, right? How do we shrink them I down again, though? Dibbins. Well, yes, like I said, he's very well trained. Right then. Goodbye, Constable. Good work, lad. Seems you took care of the downtown gang good and proper. Yay! But so long as they're still supersized, our job's only half done. I'd better get to work on a reverse growth formula. You've pacified all the bees, Gromit. Good lad. I knew I could count on you. That sounds like Miss Flit. <laughs> Help! Get me down from here! Don't panic! I'm coming, Miss Flit! Oh, it seems I'm underdressed. Gracious! <laughs> Hang on, Miss Flint. <laughs> My savior. <laughs> so that's the story, Miss Flint. I'm afraid my miracle growth formula led to some uh, supersized problems. I hope you're going to get rid of the infernal stuff. Oh, I am. And rest assured, all the bees have been dealt with safely and humanely. Well, that's a relief. But weren't you scared facing down an angry swarm of giant bees all by yourself? Frightened? Oh, well, I, uh... Well, I was heavily outnumbered, of course, but uh, they soon saw who was boss and that the uh, sting was on the other foot. I was terrified. <laughs> That's only natural, Miss Flint. Uh, uh, well, I had a twinge or two myself at times, you know, but keep a cool head. That's my motto. Look your adversary square in the eye and never let yourself get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought that would have been the ending, but apparently not. What is she gonna do with him? Nora, the queen's trying to turn me into royal jelly. The ingratitude. After I built her a hive in solid brass and a magnetronic pollinator thingamajig to take all the hard work out of honey making. Oh. I'm beginning to think I should never have mixed this growth formula at all. I ought to chuck it away. Hey! Easy, old girl. No need to get excited. Put me down gently and no one will get hurt. Oh dear. Nothing in the beekeeper's manual about aerial abduction. Help! Help! Draw me! Boy, I knew you'd come through. Raise the ladder, lad. Ah, uh, autopilot. Oh, she's falling asleep from it. Good. Go 
that's... What are you waiting for, Gromit? Raise the ladder! Ah, uh, yeah, the, the ladder. What are you waiting for, Gromit? Raise the ladder! I'm trying, dude! Alright, I have... There we go. That's right, lad. Now raise the ladder. Oh. Ah! That's torn it. The ladder's broken. And I left the spare at home. I can't grab that fucking chicken. Idea. Open it again. Oh, silly chicken. Poor chicken. The radio. Okay. Try the feather. Grab it. There we go. Now what are we gonna do with the feather? And make her sneeze? Have to think of a plan B, Gromit. Silly bee. Let go. Let go of him. Go make babies with someone else. Back on terra firma. Well done, Gromit. Gromit? Gromit! You alright, lad? Yay! Oh, good show! We've made it through this little episode in one piece. More than I can say for the autopilot, I'm afraid. Oh, the autopilot! You should probably be driving, yeah. Looks like our troubles aren't quite over. Look out behind you, Gromit! Keep her at bay! I'll try and lose her in here! Okay. Okay, Wallace, this is it. Maybe I can shoot her wings. Nope, that won't help. Don't 
What am I? Fold asleep. What's this? Still plenty of honey in the old tank. Hmm. Perhaps the honey could use a little kick. Wait. This might be a bad idea actually. Isn't it just gonna grow even bigger? You gotta turn this tunnel into a giant beehive, dude. Give her a dose of her own medicine, lad. Can we put that? Close it. Still plenty of honey in the old tank. Dear friend, tired of being pushed around, ready to unleash the giant within, <laughs> must be taken internally. I leave, who'll drive the truck? Okay, so when she has her mouth open, I guess. Don't shoot till you see the whites of her eyes. Must be taken internally. Turning on the radio was actually a red herring. Oh yeah! Now she sings along. That's a very angry bee, though. Ooh, cracking teamwork, lad. I've done it, Gromit. I found the antidote to that pesky growth formula. Now we can finally cut our bee problem down to size. <laughs> though there is one small. Um, complication. Okay. <laughs> so that was episode one of Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you join me tomorrow for the beginning of episode 2. Um, there are four episodes and all and I intend to play them all in, in order. Um, <laughs> I have to say, like... I ended up enjoying it, but it, 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 does, it does get a little bit... Hmm, what do I do? <laughs> um, and it, I guess, it, just like any other point league adventure, and I've mentioned this a lot of times before, like it is really just a question of getting into the particular logic of, um, how oh my eye. 
Must be all the dust flying around my room. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it is like a question of, of finding out like what is is the logic they're working with here. And, you know, it's Wallace and Gromit. I, I feel like it captures the spirit of, 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 of the shorts and the movie pr pretty well. Uh, more so the movie than the shorts. I, the movie was a little bit uh, more Hollywood than the shorts. And uh, definitely tell um, <laughs> that it was made at the, around the same time of the movie. I believe Oddman had made... I believe the first animated, fully, fully animated feature film was... Um, um, uh, Chicken Run, and then they made uh, the Wallace and Gromit movie shortly after. Um, and then, of course, tragically, the Artman Studios um, burned down during the production of uh, Flushed Away. Tragically. Um, so, I believe they don't have any of the original figurines, which is a shame. <coughs> and I think Artman also went to 3D animation after that, just because. Uh, I, of course, don't know for sure, but it really is, like, a shame that they ended up losing all that work. Like, Artman for many years was, like, the bastion of stop-in-motion animation and a lot of, of, of like, in, in England, or at least the United Kingdom, where they are, like, you don't really see stop motion animation much more. United Kingdom is one of the last bastions of, of that. And especially Alban was like the the big name. Um So so that's a big shame. Anyway, enough about animation history. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Until then. Bye.